Hi friends, welcome back to All Things Kawaii. Today is going to be part two of what I got at KameaCon. Well, more so what I got um, during the KameaCon weekend trip, which is about two weeks ago, probably almost three weeks by now. If you haven't seen part one, um, in that video, I showcased all of the small artists and small shops. Um, so like a lot of like stickers, art prints, things like that, and things that I actually directly bought at KameaCon. Um, and in this one, it's going to be just like other stores that I went shopping at, like Kinokuniya, um, Dollar Tree, um, some other stores. I don't remember the names. Um, so, but a lot of really cute things. So keep watching if you want to see what I got and, um, don't forget to subscribe if you love these types of videos and let's get started. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. The first two items are probably my favorite. Um, I bought these um, at Box Lunch. Um, we did go to the Grapevine Mills Mall and we also went to a couple other stores. Um, we went to Aquino Cunha in Carrollton, Texas, I believe. Um, and just like in the vicinity, we did want to go to the Arlington, I think it's the Arlington Park Mall, but um, we were kind of pressed for time with like traffic and everything. It was, it kind of felt rushed. Like we weren't able to like look at stores and comfortably you know so but anyway yeah we did go to box lunch and eric had a coupon of like four fifteen dollar off coupons so whatever 15 times four is i don't know i suck at math but i got a new lounge fly backpack and it is the sanrio pastel colored lounge fly backpack we have hello kitty and friends sitting at the bottom of a hot air balloon there's cinema roll um, Pom Pom, there's um, Choco Cat, Hello Kitty, Kuropi, My Melody, Batsmaru, and Kuromi. So cute. I love the little clouds in the background, and it's a Sanrio lounge fly right here. Um, it has two compartments. Now, this is like packed with like paper. Um, so I'll try to open this one here so you can see the lining, which is really nice. <laughs> there you go you can kind of see there's like pastel colored it's like pink and purple um hot air balloons with little hello kitty bows on them so i love the little attention to details and it does have two little pockets here on the side as well um and then the backpack itself it's a mini backpack but it fits a lot of things in it and um nice hardware nice zippers has really nice padded straps and then even the back has hello kitty and choco cat enjoying a popsicle which is super cute and then this is the tag um and this was 69.90 i have two other lounge fly backpacks so i know when this one came out i was gonna buy it in the location um in my hometown i looked at it put it down i was gonna go back and get it and some guy came in and bought this bought the wallet and the crossbody so i'm on the hunt for the crossbody but at least i have the backpack and the wallet here's the matching wallet this is my first lounge fly wallet so it's literally the same print with all of them in the hot air balloon. And then it says Sanrio Lounge Fly with Choco Cat and Hello Kitty. Plenty of space here to put like your cards or ID, cash, whatever you want. It's a very nice high quality wallet. And this one was $39.90. I was initially just going to get the backpack, but then I was like, you know what? Come on now. It's, it, we got to get the matching wallet. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Esquivel Katrina. It's in the description. Give me a follow. I recently put this up as a reel. So go check it out. Like it if you want to. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with this. This is like the main thing <laughs> that I was on the hunt for when we went shopping. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you are a collector of lounge fly backpacks or if you even, even if you just have one, um, let me know which types you have or what are your favorites. Okay, next up is Kino Kunia. Now, this particular item I bought in, I think it's called Mitsuwa. I don't remember the name, but it's a Japanese grocery store. They have like crane games in there. There's a little Sanrio section. They have a ton of Japanese food and like little blind box snacks, which I will share with you what we did buy from there. But they have a Kino Kunia inside and they even have like Japanese restaurants. Like it's such a cool place to hang out. I wish they had one in my hometown or near me. But unfortunately, they don't. I think it's the only one in Texas, too. But I saw this beautiful Princess Serenity um, on a column figure. And it was the only one. And I knew I had her. I had to get her. I had to get her. She's so cool. She's actually from an Ichiban Kuji. She's, so she was just like a second release. I believe this is only sold in the U.S. I believe. Where does it say that? It doesn't say. 
Hmm. But anyway, this was $46.99. Um, I've seen her being sold elsewhere for like 70 bucks. So I was surprised by the price. Um, so yeah, I will unbox her in a second, um, but let me finish showing you what else I got from Kino Kunia. From that particular location, I also found this cute little vinyl sticker that has a hamster and um, with all the sunflower seeds and there's little hamsters running around him. This was $3. I don't know who the artist is. Oh, it's Turtles Soup. I don't know if you can see that. Turtles Soup is the artist, but I just thought this was the cutest little vinyl sticker ever, so I had to get that. And then from the Kinokuniya in Carrollton, um, this Kinokuniya has um, a Daiso nearby, um, 99 Ranch, and um, I will try to put all the addresses of the stores that I did go to, or like the malls or whatever, if you're ever in the vicinity, you can check them out. Um, but I did get three empty washi tapes. I love empty washi tapes, and I usually always get them from Daiso, or sorry, from Kinokuniya. These were $2.55 each. Um, and so here's this one I'm trying to fix my ring light here so you can kind of see it better. This one is like an interesting print. It's like muted. I don't know. There's like forest greens and like a rusty brown. It's like geometric. It's really interesting. It gives me like fall. That's what I think of. And then this bright yellow and blue like plaid print, which I thought was cool. And then this green yellow with the lime and everything reminds me of Sprite. <laughs> I just thought these were really pretty. And these are very good quality washi tapes. Well worth the $2.55. And then the last things from Kino Kunia. I have in this bag are some Demon Slayer notepads or memo pads. Um, they had a lot of them and I got four of them. Yeah, four of them. So I got the Ten Tengen one and they have two different designs. So here's this first one. And then the second one looks like this and it's lined. These were $3.95 each. And then we have a Mitsuri one, the Love Hashida. There she is. And then the second design. And then of course, how to get Shinobu. A lot of them were sold out. Um, Cause if not, I would have bought all of them. <laughs> and then the last one is Gyu looking super cool and then that one so yeah um i really like those okay so i'm gonna unbox this uh princess serenity figure so we can look at it So uh, there she is, and she's just literally sitting on the column. I don't think there's any other um, assembly required for this. But look at this column, though. It's so nice. It has some good weight to it. And here is Princess Serenity with her dress. I would love to get a wedding dress like this. That would be so sick with the bow. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. She's beautiful. All right, and you just kind of. Just put her like that and there you go look how beautiful she is oh my god i love her so much and so like the bow holds her in place along with her hair the paint job's really well done her face looks really nice very sweet um but yeah if you're a big sailor moon fan you need to add this to your list if you collect figures we don't really see many sailor moon figures so that's why i jumped on that but i'm very happy with it okay moving on to the next store um this next one is called Tessa or Tessa. I can't believe I forgot the name of it, but it's kind of like a, it's not a Japanese grocery store. I've been there. I, I've been there last year. Um, and I love it. it I'll link it in the description. <laughs> um, but it's kind of like a CVS or a Walgreens, um, except without a pharmacy, if that makes sense. Cause they have like, they have food. They have a ton of like makeup and like skincare, um, they have blind boxes, um, cute snacks. That's usually where I would get my like kawaii snacks. But this time around, they didn't really have anything like kawaii snacks wise. 
um the only snacks i ended up getting which by the way these are the best chips in the entire world i freaking love these they're by kalbi this one is the sukiyaki which literally tastes kind of like roast beef these are good but these aren't my favorite my favorite they're gone that's why they're my favorite they're gone um hokkaido butter y'all they come in the blue packaging y'all those are so fire oh my god i love those so much and i think i bought like four or five of those bags and done gone um but yeah they had these on sale for like two dollars or something like that but i know i can order them on amazon so best believe i'm gonna order some um so anyway I did get one blind box, which I regret because I should have bought more of these. And it's this beautiful Sanrio Characters Beauty Series Sweet Kiss Collection. Um, so those are all the different options, which look at my, my melody. So cute and cinnamon roll. But the one I wanted was Pom Pom in the um, shell. I already opened it up. Um, and I got the one I wanted, which I was surprised. These are like very high quality um, blind boxes. Like look at Pom Pom with this little crown. Like it's even has like little clear bobbles here on the top and it says white. He's super cute. And then this is his little shell. It's like a little gold shell and it does open up with little pearls. So basically he's just supposed to sit on here and just hang out very high quality um go to weight like i said very well made um they're not like the cheaper kind of blind boxes where like the little figures are kind of more like gashapon kind of quality which are still good quality but not like 15 dollars worth if that makes sense like this i would be willing to pay 15 bucks for because he is he has weight and he's very nicely um done so he this was only 11 dollars tell me how there was a long line and we were pressed for time so we had to go i wish i would have bought more because they are well worth 11 bucks because they had some there that were like 22 dollars, but they were um premium blind box figures um so it's the only sanrio one i got sadly but anyway moving on um i did get some stickers they don't really have much stationery but i found these little stickers and they were only a dollar 50 i think and they have unicorns with gold accent foiling little strawberries and all the unicorns are super cute these are great for like um polaroids or photo cards and then the next one here has like little sunflowers i'm gonna call them daisies and lemons um and then i also found these stencils and these were i think two dollars each and they're hello kitty stencils and i don't have anything like this and they're not flimsy either they're a nice hard plastic so here's this one there's all these desserts and hello kitty with her ice cream and her cakes and stuff oh so there's four designs <laughs> these are the only three they did have this one has like flowers and then this one has animals a cute little elephant and a lion yeah thought those would be great for all different types of things and then the last thing i got from there is this pokemon rubber mirror and i got eevee they had so many cute, like, the packaging is on point for all the makeup and the skincare. Now, it's definitely on the pricier end. I mean, but it is imported and it's hard to find. So it's kind of understandable. But this mirror, I think, was $10. And, um, yeah, it's made to look like a cookie. I don't know if you can see the texture around the pink, like, the actual, like, if it's an actual cookie. And this part is decorated with, like, icing. I just thought that was absolutely adorable. They did also have Pikachu, I think Snorlax. There's another one. I don't remember, but just, Evie's going to look super cute in my purse. And you can even hang her like a keychain if you wanted to, but I don't want to lose her. So, okay, next up is the 99 Ranch store, which we have one in Austin and we just decided to just hop in and see what we would find. The only thing, uh, only two things I got, I restocked my Hello Kitty rice crackers, which are individually packaged. And this is going to go in my little kawaii snack cart which is very low on snacks. It has like a bunch of junk on it, but like no snacks. I love these. These are super good. Um, I recommend them. And I think these are like $2 around there. And then they had their Sanrio makeup wipe 
um, cases on sale for $9.99 and originally these are I think were like $15 to $17 um, and I picked up my Melody they also had cinnamon roll but I thought she was super cute and it does come with um, the wipes in there as well and it also fits like standard wipes but the container is too cute and it's functional so I'm happy I finally have that so I will be keeping her in my restroom um, so anyway that's all for 99 Ranch now moving on to the next store which is called Mitsua marketplace the one where I got the um the Kinokuniya that was inside is Mitsua where I got this uh Princess Serenity figure anyway these are the snacks that we got well snacks slash blind boxes kind of thing they have like a whole section and it just they're very overpriced <laughs> um but they are imported so but um anyway so first thing I have here is this Jujutsu Kaisen box and Eric got this. He's like, I don't know what this is. It was $10. He's like, I don't know. It looks cool. It was the only one. And we opened it up. It's Megami, but this, oops, this is what this is. That's what it is. $10 for a piece of plastic, y'all. If, I, if he would have known we would not have bought this but basically it's supposed to be like a stained glass like catcher thing so you put it in the box and you're supposed to cut out this back circle and then you're supposed to put it near a window and it's supposed to be like stained glass which is cool but it's not ten dollars worth at all but you know whatever we already have it there's nothing we can do um and then well here's another snack here's the packaging which is really cool again the packaging is everything um it came with like a chocolate wafer which I already ate, it was good. Um, but it came with a sticker. I love that they come with like little stickers and stuff. I think it's so cute. I wish we did that more often here in America. And then, um, yeah, all these little snacks, I think they were under $4. They were like $2.75 to $3.50 around there. Um, and then the next thing is this little pack of gum, just Dragon Ball Super pack of gum, which is cute. And Eric thought that it had stickers, but it doesn't, it is just gum that's it's good gum I don't know if you can see inside it's just you know it's just gum but it's good and he didn't like it I did so I was like okay I'll I'll, I'll chew it all right moving on um by the way if you hear my dogs in the background they're fighting not fighting fighting they're play fighting sorry they're they're crazy um okay so <laughs> we got QP mayo best nannies hand down hands down uh, if you haven't tried it, highly recommend it. This thing was like, I don't even know, I think it was like $12 for this bottle, which we're going to go through pretty quick. But here at my local grocery store, they have it, but it's always sold out. And I always try to get on Amazon. Same thing. I'm just like, well, I think it's meant to be. So we picked up some QP mayo, which is random, but it's good. Um, and then I also found these Demon Slayer little like gummy chewies, which I don't really like. Eric likes these, but again, packaging's cute. Pretty much got it because it came with um, a miniature washi tape. Of course I needed it, right? <laughs> Look at the little washi tape. It's so cute. I don't, I don't even want to use it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh no, I think I lost it. Where did it go? Here it is. Um, let me try to unravel it here so you can kind of see it a little, a little more. But it's like, we need more things with washi tape. Oh, it's the demon. Let me have a Nosuke. Yeah, okay. I'm obsessed with this. I don't want to use this because I'll probably, will never be able to find this particular washi tape ever again in my life. Anyway, um, and then I also saw this tonkatsu. I didn't know what it was. I was like, it has gum, I think, in it. And the packaging is everything. <laughs> Sumiko Gurashi. Um, but there we go. And it actually has all these stickers in it, which I didn't realize. I just saw tonkatsu. And look at the, like, the box has everything how cute is that it has three little stickers in it i thought it was only going to come with one but we have tonkatsu and ebi with strawberries there's penguin looking super cute and then there's the polar bear oh my god it's so cute and then the inside it does come with like just gum 
nothing fancy. I just wanted it because of the three little stickers and the box, which I'll keep. I'm not gonna throw this box away once I'm done chewing the gum. I'm just gonna like tape this back up and display him because he's super cute. I love him so much. Okay, and then I also got this, which isn't a blind box, but it is Tonkatsu dressed up as like a little schoolboy. And um, I think this was like six or seven dollars. Um, and those are all the different characters they had. They did not have Ebby, which is right here dressed up as a schoolgirl because I would have picked that one up too um but I just got tonkatsu and tonkatsu is so cute I'm gonna open him actually so I can actually look at him because I haven't opened him oh he's so cute oh my god look at him I love him okay perfection I need like a whole tonkatsu shrine because I just I'm obsessed with him I don't know why. <laughs> um, okay, and then the last thing is um, we did play some of the little crane games. They had like some like miniature ones and it was a dollar per token. And I think we did like 10 tries or something um, and we got one prize. And let me tell you, it was a tonkatsu day because guess who I got? I got tonkatsu. Out of every Sumiko Garashi character, I got tonkatsu and he's just like rubbery and he's the ones where you like pull this little string and he like vibrates he's super cute kind of like crawls um on your desk <laughs> and um that's how it looks oh my god i could have gotten anybody else but i got tonkatsu it was meant to be all right the next store is dollar tree um typically dallas does have way better dollar trees than san antonio or austin um and there's this one dollar tree that i went to last year and i hit the jackpot more so than the location that I like to go to in San Antonio. It's a smaller store. It's a, it's messy, but it, I feel like the messy ones are the ones where you can find such good items that you've been looking for forever. Um, but this time around, I really didn't find that much. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna share with you quickly what I got at Dollar Tree. So I got this cute little memo pad thing by Jot. You get 60 sheets, it says to do, there's little cherries, and these are perforated by the way. I love when they do that, I think that's so cool. And then I got this cute little list pad. This is Need S'more and it's lined and it's got s'mores and you get 60 sheets. And then I found these puffy stickers, pop-up stickers, 24 count. And they look like little bubbles and they're kind of metallic-y too. But these gave me 90s vibes or like early 2000s vibes like with the dolphins and the um, orcas. Is it orcas? Yeah, but anyway, yeah, it's so cool. It also kind of reminded me of Lisa Frank too. Um, and then also, so I know Dollar Tree is doing like this new line. So you know how they have like Jot, they have Crafter Square, and now they have this brand called Momoko. I've been seeing this brand in a lot of other people's like Dollar Tree hauls, and I found these. They had a couple other designs, but I only got these. Um, this one you get nine, and these are, this is our handmade stickers, but they are 3D and they're narwhals. And some of them have like epoxy like foil on them it looks really cool so i got that one and then these cute little weenie dogs you also get nine some have glitter these are actually like hot dogs so cute and then the next one um are these like puffy shaker glitter stickers and they're donuts they're donuts and they're shaker stickers like i'm obsessed with it Okay, and then moving on, I did find these really cute novelty rainbow plates. Couldn't say no to these. These are going to be great for like crafts or even if you wanted to make a banner, you could use these plates for that. They do have gold foiling and you get 10 of them. They're party section, y'all. They had a huge party and wedding section with things that I would never find at a Dollar Tree like in Central Texas. It's just, I wouldn't. Not even Austin, not even San Antonio. But I love these little plates because I do use them. And then I grabbed these Jetta gel pens, um, 0.7 millimeter, um, and you get two black gel pens. I just wanted to try them out. I'm always on the hunt for like good black gel pens. I did try them as you can see here. They are, they're good. You know, they're not bad for $1.25. Um, they were a bit scratchy, a little bit, just a tiny bit, but not so bad that I wouldn't use them. So they're okay. Um, and then the last things are some, oh no, not the last things. <laughs> I'll show you this. This is from the wedding section. I got these um, thank you tags. You get 20 and they're just like that craft paper and they have like little like polka dots on the bottom. I thought these would be great for my traveler's journal. So 
those are pretty cool don't have to be used as actual tags and then i found some new bolero products which the packaging is everything always i love these um, they have the whole collection but i got the coconut oil and watermelon facial hydrator it's supposed to revive dull skin with a blast of moisture boosting ingredients and then this one is the rose hip oil and jojoba jelly facial serum boost hydration and revive dull unhappy skin and then the uh, cactus water and pear jelly facial serum moisturize and replenish dry stressed out skin and i'll open these real quick so i can show you how they look so here is the facial serum and i did like i already opened these and i smelled them they all smell very nice they're not like the scent isn't like in your face so if you're like into like since these are not for you um they're very light which i like personally for me um i know a lot of people don't like valero but i like them they've never made me like break out or anything like that and i feel like they do make my skin a lot softer so that's what i got from dollar all right friends so the last store that i did go to is shop miss a which i absolutely love this store by the way i'm so glad they did not raise their prices above a dollar which I know with the cost of things going up with gas, like, of course, products and stores are just going to go up. It's unfortunate, but it's true. It sucks. Um, but a lot of stores are raising their prices and giving you cheaper quality. So I'm just like, mm, what? Like Dollar Tree, which I've noticed really quickly. Dollar Tree has cut down on some of their products, giving you less for a higher price. I'm like, so how does that work? If anybody can tell me, let me know down below because I don't understand it. Anyway, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> Here's my shop miss a stuff. Um, I pretty much went in there last, not last minute, I guess it was like 15 minutes before they closed. And I went in there for hand cream because I use hand cream all the time. And I have, I think, like two little hand creams left over. So I was like, I need to replenish it. They got dollar hand creams. They work very well. And, um... Yeah, <laughs> I was rushed. I didn't really have time to actually look, look in Shop Miss A, unfortunately, because again, we were pressed for time, um, which again, I'm not going to get into because it's just too much of a long story, but I did get these two bins. I love these. Um, these are $1.88 because these are their charity edition um, and these are stackable too. So I got a tan one and I got this like blue gray color. I do have like a lavender one that I'm currently using in my journaling cart and it has like a ton of my gel pens and markers and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to use those because guess what i bought another cart which i will not talk about right now but <laughs> yeah let's just say the one that i have it's, it has four shelves but the two shelves in the middle they're clamped on and with any weight above three and a half pounds it'll just start slipping so there's that anyway okay so i'll show you what else did i get oh i got just one eyeshadow compact it's just a little quad by aoa studio and it's in fairy garden which is really pretty i know fairy garden eyeshadows the collection and it's in willow um i love these because they're non-toxic vegan and cruelty free but you get metallics and shimmers um i am not good with swatches but i'll try to swatch here Let me know down below if you guys like Shop Miss A's um, makeup. Like, how do you feel about it? I personally, I like it, you know? It's inexpensive and it's great for like beginners, great for people that don't really always wear makeup. Anyway, that's kind of like the rough idea. It's really pretty. I love these colors. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And these swatched, you know, they're not dry or anything like that. So here they are my fingers. There's a little swatch. Okay, so I'm going to show you the lotions that I got. Um, this one is by Dye Feel, Dye Dye Feel, I don't know, Rosemary Luxury Hand Cream. You get 1.4 fluid ounces. And I did try, I did smell these. They all smell really good. And then the last, or the next ones are all by AOA Studio. So I got this one, Shea Butter. This one's hand, or it's unscented. Sorry, it has coconut on it. Um, enriched with real shea butter and natural oils to nourish and hydrate hands and cuticles. And you get one ounce in there. Actually, got two of those accidentally, but that's fine. I'll use it. Um, the next one is vanilla. I love vanilla. And this one is lavender. This next one, I absolutely love. This one is jasmine. I'm actually currently using this one. I have it in my purse. And then the last one is rose, which smells really nice. It's not too florally, which I 
which I like. And then I also, <laughs> I got some nipple covers, nipple petals. Um, you get six pieces for a dollar, which is great. These are great for like, you know, those like special types of like tops and stuff like that that you can't really wear a bra with. So those are always great to have. And um, then guys, they have stationery at Shop Miss A. Look at these stickers. I think there was maybe like three sticker sheets that I kind of passed up on, but I was just like scoop, 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 scoop because they have, I don't know how you say this, Swatelier, Swatelier, Swatelier. I know they sell these on Stationery Pal's website. I love Stationery Pal. And they have them for, I think, $1.50 or $1.75 each. And yo, these were a dollar. What? I was like, shop Miss A. If y'all are going to start to get Stationery, hear me out. Please get Stationery. Um, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> um, but the first ones are from this brand, Petite. So I'll go through these as quickly as possible. Um, this one has like traditional like Korean wear, which is really cool. And it has like some gold foiling. And then this one has like little like bears, rainbow bears and hearts. Great for like decorating photo cards. And then these are like 3D glittery cherry blossoms. These are so pretty. And this one has laser foiling and there's just like all these little sparkles and stars and stuff. And then these are clear stickers, which I love, and they have daisies. These are beautiful. They're called Daisy. I love this. Okay, and then the last ones are all by Swatelier. So these are like the only puffy ones that I got, and they're like white hearts and there's like stripes. There's red, and this one is called Balloon Heart. Balloon Heart. I love how they all have like different collection names. This one is called Spring Spring love a little bike and the cherry blossoms and everybody enjoying the outdoors super cute and this one is ice cream they're like little animals as ice cream cones so cute they kind of look like little doodles but I love that and then this one is called swim swim and everybody's at the beach love the little seagulls that are super tiny these are great if you're into like planning or journaling and you don't like really big stickers these are going to be something you're going to want to pick up or look for. This one's called Vintage Mood, and this one has just different, like, decor. There's lamps, um, different furniture and stuff. Really cool. Um, this next one is called Cake is Here. Different birthday cakes and stuff and candles. Love the little balloons. Those look like clear stickers. And then this one is Work and Work. We've got these cute little dogs working away this one is like over filing stuff he's like super happy that it's friday it's so cute this next one is called forest i love how they do little scenes on the packaging too which you could always reuse a bunch of trees and little cabins and flowers there's even a little bunny and this little like this man living out there with this cabin and then this one is called food trip number three all this delicious looking food there's dumplings and sake and tea and beer rice balls and then the last thing are these which are kokeshi which are like japanese dolls beautiful and this does have some gold accents as well very detailed you get a ton of stickers in that sticker sheet so yeah at shop misse which is so random but i'm happy all right, friends, so that is everything in this part two of what I got at KameaCon weekend, technically. Um, yeah, I'm very happy. I can finally start using my Loungefly backpack and I can organize my craft cart with those um, bins. And yeah, I love all the new stickers, um, the Bolero products, those cute rainbow plates, just everything. I'm obsessed with. I will try to link down below as many items as I possibly can and the locations that I did go to. So just check the description. Let me know down below which item is your favorite and what items you'll be adding to your wish list. Um, and um, what else was I going to say? Um, and if you have any questions of where something is from and is not listed down below, please just leave it in the comments and I will answer back and try to help you as much as I can. Um, yeah, go ahead and give this video a like. If you did, it really helps out my channel. I appreciate it. Subscribe. If you love videos like this, I would love to have you here and turn on your notifications so that you're notified whenever I do upload so you don't miss anything. My Instagram and my TikTok are in the description. So give me a follow if you would like over there and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching and um, stay safe, stay quiet, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.